Hey everyone, we're making a series of videos available to you to learn Amazon EC2 with 10 labs and 20 facts and refreshers for your exam. The full course is available on YouTube. It's also available on Udemy. You can check the links in the description below to view the Udemy link. This course is produced by Cloud Yeti. We make simplified cloud computing, AWS, and DevOps videos. You can contact us by emailing us, checking out our GitHub, visiting our website, or following us on LinkedIn. I'll be the presenter for this course. My name is Saurav Sharma. I am seven times AWS certified. You can support us by helping us reach 5,000 subscribers. We're currently around 3,300 and reaching 5,000 is very important to us. So if you want to support us, start by subscribing to us. And you can also watch our other content, uh, buy our courses on Udemy, etc. We're adding a lot more content, so we're open to feedback, suggestions, and requests from you guys because we're making these videos for you guys. All right, now let's get started. Welcome back. In the slides, we talked about two kinds of EC2 storage, one of them being the EBS volumes and the other being the instance store. The instance store volumes are the volumes physically attached to the host machine, you know, where your EC2 instance live. So, so far we've been using EBS volumes only to launch our instances. And in this lab, we'll be creating an EC2 instance with instance store as root volume. So let's get started. I'm here in my course repo inside the labs folder. I'm going to open lab six, the title being EC2 with instance store. I'm going to go to my management console and click launch instance. So far we have used Amazon provided AMIs. That's all these AMIs and also my AMIs, right? We created an AMI or a golden image with Apache web server installed in one of our previous labs. Now, this time we will use a community AMI and this will give us filter for some more options with the root device type of instance store, right? So if I do this, I only get the AMIs with root device as instance store and this will let me launch an EC2 with uh, you know instance store root device type if you click on select on any of them it doesn't matter you'll see a bunch of ec2 instances options grayed out you know because we've seen this window a lot of times we've seen this page a lot of times and you may have noticed ebs only being you know written next to the t2 micros and everything and that's because these instance types t2 micro and T2 Nano and you know this M4 extra large you know, they only support EBS volumes there are some other instance types like the M3 medium that support you know non EBS volumes as a root volume in this window I can only select you know these instances and uh, I'm gonna select the one with 1.7 gigabytes of RAM because this is pr the smallest one available with the instance store and click on next and I'll leave everything as default in this window. Next. And this time you see the volume type of instance store. And I don't have any choice over the size. But you know, I do have the instance store as the root volume. Click on next, add tags. And I'll give this a name tag with instance store EC2. Next select the security group that we created in one of our previous labs. We just want to demo an instance store here. Uh, you can select the security group of your choice, review, and launch with your key pair. Launch, and if I click on the instance, go to root device type, I see instance store here. So we just launched an EC2 instance with instance store as the root volume. All right, so once this uh, instance store backed EC2 instance is running, let's click on actions, instance state. We can't stop this uh, instance because 
instance store backed instance cannot be stopped only the EBS backed volumes can be stopped so there's not even an option to stop your instance store EC2 instance so to clean up this uh, instance let's click on terminate and terminate hopefully this lab gave you a chance to work with uh, instance store and launch an instance store and see how that works we've come to the end of this lab thank you for watching I'll see you in the next lab.